Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, good to be with you today. We're in Nehemiah chapter 4. We're going to be in verse 15 today, kind of wrapping up this uh, section. And uh, let's go ahead and pray. Father, thank you so much that you are the God that brings us victory. Help us to live in that victory in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in verse 15, And it happened when our enemies heard that it was known to us and that God had brought their plot to nothing, that all of us returned to the wall, everyone to his own work. So, hey, we're just wrapping up this story. You know, I mean, it looked like a pretty, pretty serious issue for Nehemiah and the people that were there rebuilding the wall, who, by the way, were not soldiers, right? But they had, uh, as the Bible says, they had a spear in one hand and a trowel in the other, right? This is kind of your life as a Christian. You know, you're building the kingdom of God while you're battling the adversary simultaneously. It's a, it's really a beautiful picture, right? There, they're on the wall. And um, this, by the way, would be kind of their... Um, this would be their position for uh, a long time. They would be dealing with the adversaries and fighting a spiritual battle. Um, and yet, you know, they would be faithful to do what God had called them to do in um, the spiritual work that was set before them. And, you know, as Christians, it's the same thing, right? I mean, we, we are fighting the adversary and we're advancing the kingdom. And then we're growing spiritually as well. But really the point today is this, you know, God is the one, right? As, as Nehemiah looks back, he says... God had brought their plot to nothing. God had brought their plot to nothing. God, in other words, and he's always faithful to do this, right? You see Nehemiah is a man of prayer. Like his reflex is prayer, and he'll put something in the hands of God and just trust the Lord with it. And then when God answers, he is faithful to come full circle and to say, hey man, that was the Lord. You know, God did that. God answered that prayer. God was faithful to come through. God is the one who supplied the victory. You know, we chose to trust in him. And, you know, he'll say this a number of times, the good hand of God was on our life. I love this about him because he was a man of gratitude. You know, he was a man of gratitude. He was thankful for every good thing that God did. And he did not miss an opportunity to acknowledge that it was the Lord and to give him praise, right? I mean, this whole crazy situation wraps up. And what does he do? He does that very thing. He's like, hey, listen, y'all, don't forget that this was, this was God. God did this. I want to encourage you today, number one, just to acknowledge God in your life. Acknowledge when God comes through. Uh, sometimes you know that we can have all these prayer needs that get presented to the Father, and He comes through time and time again. And sometimes we fail to acknowledge Him in our own life and to acknowledge Him to others, right? For us, just to be reminded, hey, you know, that paycheck or um, that bonus or that job opportunity or that reconciled relationship issue or, you know, whatever it might be, that was God. You know, that was God. And, you know, someone might say, well, you know what, you're just a crazy Christian seeing God in all things. And, and my answer to that is, yeah, and what? You know, and what? I would rather lean into that all day long than to not acknowledge God at all. So um, we acknowledge him internally, right? But then also to other people around you, don't be afraid. When God comes through for you, don't be afraid to tell other people, hey, this wasn't me, this was the Lord. You know, you people know that you're looking for a job and, and believing people and unbelieving people and God opens a door and then you have that moment right? To, to say, hey, this, um, you could either say, well, you know, I had a really good resume or this friend opened up a door for me and you can miss the opportunity. Um, or you can say, hey, you know, God is good. God is the one who opened up this opportunity for me. And, and this is the second piece. And I'm thankful. The second part of it is not only acknowledging him, but living a life of gratitude. God, not only did you do it, but I'm thankful that you have done it and that you come through time and time again. God, who am I that you would even consider me? And yet you demonstrate faithfulness over and over and over again in my life. Nehemiah was a grateful man. And um, I think that we should be grateful too for God has done so much for us. He's given you the victory. Live in that victory. 
but live in it in a way where you acknowledge him and where you're grateful for him. Have a good day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.